Mini episode 1750 of the FDH Lounge is brought to you by Sportsology, delivering unconventional columns and webcasts about sports, TV, music, movies, and more. Follow them on the web at sportsology.com. The FDH Lounge. You want to schedule your life around it. A long time ago, on a gloomy, wet Cleveland spring night, two men stand alone amidst the late night drizzle. Their voices echo across the vacant station parking lot as they debate the merits of the great American radio show that have been missing for far too long. On that night, an idea was born. That idea became the FDH Lounge. Welcome to the FDH Lounge. Welcome to FDH Lounge mini episode 1750. This is FDH managing partner Rick Morris here with our review of the HBO and Max series Barry. Here's our top five notes of interest about this riveting program. Number five, it's an extremely unique dramedy centered around a veteran named Barry with PTSD who returns from Afghanistan to get manipulated by close family friend Monroe to become a hitman in his employ. Sent to Los Angeles to kill the man having an affair with the wife of a Chechen mobster Barry experiences the defining moment of his life when he follows the man into an acting class. Once he gets a chance to study under legend in his own mind acting coach Gene Cousineau, Barry starts looking for a way to transition from crime to showbiz. Along the way, he must deal with Monroe constantly trying to sabotage him, Cousineau's suspicious police detective girlfriend, his own new unstable egomaniac girlfriend Sally, goofy and lovable Chechen crime lord Noho Hank, and many elements of his past coming back to haunt him. Number four. The cast is amazing, with series co-creator Bill Hader in the lead role, legendary character actor Stephen Root as Monroe, Anthony Kerrigan as the absolutely unique Noho Hank, and Henry Winkler as delusional, self-proclaimed genius actor and coach Gene with standout performances. Sarah Goldberg had not been in any really high-profile roles prior to being cast as Sally, focusing largely on stage roles, but she really killed it with this opportunity. Glenn Fleshler, Chris Marquette, Jesse Hodges, Dan Bacadal, Bill Burr, Annabeth Gish, Vanessa Bayer and Michael Irby provided some of the best performances among a few dozen strong ones. Number three, the tone of the series is more comedic at the outset, and it gets darker as it goes along while still retaining humorous elements. For most of the series, Barry is living a double life, and the two worlds are constantly threatening to collide with each other, providing constant tension. Similar to the dynamic in Breaking Bad, where Walt is trying to keep his DEA officer brother-in-law Hank from learning about him becoming a meth chef, Barry is trying to elude suspicion most of all from Gene, both to remain a member of the acting class in good standing, and also because one of the actions that he secretly takes causes great pain to Gene, whose own latent capacity for true viciousness comes out eventually. Number two. The plot twists are tremendous, proceeding logically, but also in unpredictable ways. Episode 2.5, called Ronnie Lilly, proceeds like an absolute fever dream, and it will be one of the most memorable episodes of any show that you've ever seen. And there's a motorcycle chase scene on the highway in episode 3.6 that is impossible to even describe. This is a series that flows like absolutely nothing else that's ever been produced. Number one, it's a short series, able to be binge-watched within a few days, but there is a great amount that is packed into those four seasons of eight half-hour episodes each. It's very deserving of the awards that were granted to it, and the plot twists and turns, combined with the tonal twists and turns, establish this excellent series as one of the very best of this golden age of TV. Thank you for joining us for this mini-episode of the FDH Lounge.